Hello everyone and welcome to Simple Crochet Designs. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a simple shorts. <laughs> The shorts is easy to crochet, the stitches used to make this project is very basic, half double crochet, single crochet, chain and slip stitch. I will explain the step by step process on how to crochet these shorts so by the end of this video you will be able to make yourself one. But before we get into the tutorial, if you haven't subscribed yet, I will appreciate if you click the subscribe button and the bell for more crochet tutorials. Follow my Instagram account as well, you can DM me there. If you have any questions or whenever you need help in making my designs, I post my crochet projects there and the things that I love to do. Okay guys, so much of promoting, let's start making these shorts. To make the shorts, you will need the following materials. Then we need to get the measurement of the widest part of our hips. Uh, example. Mine is uh, 33 inches and then after that you need to add 2 inches so that will be 35 inches and then you have to split it into 4 and uh, so it will be 8.5, uh, 8.75 inches and that measurement will be uh, the measurements of this piece of the shorts and we are going to make 4 pieces of this then we connect it like this okay To start, make a slip knot. Then chain 60. If you are new to crochet, chain is yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. After crocheting 60 chains, in the third chain from the hook, it's 1, 2, and 3, yarn over, and insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull 3 loops. That's the first half double crochet. In the second chain, do the same, yarn over, insert hook, and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull three loops. Next chain, repeat one half double crochet. So put one half double crochet in each chain until you have 15 chains left. So I have 15 chains left, so your work should look like this. So now we are going to crochet a different stitch here. In, the fur, in, in this chain, insert hook and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull two loops. That's the first single crochet. In the next chain, one single crochet. Repeat, make one single crochet in each chain till the end of the row.
row 1 is done, it will look like this. To start row 2, chain 1, and then turn work. We are going to make one single crochet in each stitch for the for the first uh, 15 stitches. Basically, just copying the numbers of single crochet from the previous row. Starting in the first stitch where your chain 1 is, insert hook and make one single crochet. In the next stitch, one single crochet. And just repeat till you have 15 single crochets. Okay, so I have finished uh, crocheting 15 single crochet. Now, starting in the next stitch, it's going to be a half double crochet. You can insert uh, a stitch marker here if you cannot uh, recognize the single crochet to half double crochet stitch. In the next uh, stitch, make one half double crochet. Next stitch, half double crochet. And continue putting one half double crochet in each stitch and I will see you by the end of this row. I'm at the end of the row just making my last half double crochet. Okay, so your work should uh, look like this. Row 3, chain 2, and then turn work. We are going to make one half double crochet in each stitch up to here. Or if you put stitch marker in the single crochet part, then you stop before the marker. Alright, so let's do that. One half double crochet in the first stitch where your chain 1 is. Next stitch, one half double crochet. Next stitch, half double crochet. And you just continue doing that uh, until you reach the marker. Okay, when you reach the single crochet part, if you have a marker, take it out, insert hook in the stitch where your marker was and make one single crochet, then put the marker back. In the next stitch, one single crochet. One single crochet. And just continue making one single crochet till the end of this row.
Okay, so that's the pattern of these shorts. Uh, just repeat alternating row 2 and row 3 until you will have the length that you need. So just pause the video and I will see you when you're ready to do the next part. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. This is the waist part and if you did not end here, just make another row. It's fine. So you will end here. As you can see, there is no increase or decrease, so make, uh, make sure that you have the same number of stitches in each row. Okay, now we are going to make the crotch uh, chain 17. For bigger sizes, you need to add more chains. Once you have 17 chains, uh, turn your work uh, this way. In the third chain from the hook, that's one, two, and then three. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull three loops. So that's your first half double crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet. And then another one half double crochet in the next chain. So just a repeat, make one half double crochet in each chain. Okay, so here just uh, the same pattern, one half double crochet in each stitch and one single crochet in the last uh, 15 stitches. Alright, so the next row will be uh, chain 1, then turn your work, then 15 single crochets in the first 15 stitches, then one half double crochet till the end of the row. So. For this part uh, here, uh, make 4 rows total. This will be the first row, so you have to make uh, 3 more rows. And then uh, that would be it. Uh, you just need to make 4 of these pieces, then we connect it together to make a short. Okay guys, so here's my work. Uh, your work should uh, look like this. And this measures 8.75 inches. And I already made four pieces of this. Uh, here I will show you. I already connected two pieces together. Okay, so uh, what I did is after I made the second piece, I did not cut the yarn. I connected it straight away to the first piece. So this is the inside of the shorts. Okay, so here's how to connect. We connect the middle of the shorts first. Insert hook in the first single crochet. Then into the loop, and pull through. Right, then chain one. In the next stitch, 
insert the hook. And to the other side as well. Yarn over, pull through, and to the loop also. So that's a slip stitch. Next stitch, do the same. Slip stitch. Okay, next stitch, make a slip stitch. Okay, so uh, this is what uh, you need to do till the end. Uh, just make sure that it's even so you won't uh, end up uh, one piece is uh, shorter than the other. Okay, so slip stitch up to here. The last uh, stitch. So this is mine. Uh, don't get confused if I ended on the waist part. It's just my last round with my first piece. I made a mistake. But don't worry, your shorts will look exactly like mine as long as you did your measurements right. Okay, now you can cut your yarn and uh, chain two. Pull the uh, pull through and then pull again to make it tight. So after doing that, uh, do the same with the other two pieces. Okay, now let's connect the sides. This is the outside of the shorts. And this is the inside. So turn your shorts to work uh, facing the inside part. Okay, so you can easily tell the inside because of the seam. Looking from the waist part, in the first stitch, connect the yarn. Insert hook in the first stitch where you made the connection, yarn over, and pull through. Then chain one. We are going to slip stitch from here, going from here, going down, till we have 10 stitches left here. Or it's up to you how big you want the split at the sides of the shorts. If you don't like the split, split, you can also just fully close this slip stitch till the last stitch. Okay, so let's do that. In the second stitch, insert hook and to the other side also. Yarn over, pull through and to the loop also. Next stitch, slip stitch. Okay, let's do the same in the next stitch. And just continue, slip stitch, Okay, so now I have finished mine. I left 10 stitches here for the split. So when you've done that, you cut yarn and just chain two. And pull through. 
and pull again to make it tight okay so after do after doing that uh, do the same in the other side make sure that you work facing the inside of the shorts just like this then connect the yarn in the first stitch just the same in the other side okay in in the crotch area as well connect the yarn in in here there and you just slip stitch up to there okay so we are nearly finished after this all we need to do is left is hiding all the yarn ends and I will show you how to do that okay guys so here's my shorts uh, it's nearly done I also done uh, hiding most of the yarn ends I left one so I can show you how I hide them okay so get your tapestry needle okay and let me just zoom this a little bit so you can see better okay so here I will just uh, insert the needle in the middle of the stitches just like this okay And that's it! After hiding all the yarn ends, your shorts is done. I hope you enjoy making these shorts. If you do, please click the thumbs up button. And if uh, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I will appreciate if you consider subscribing. Click the bell as well so you will be the first person to know whenever I upload new videos. Hey guys, thank you so much and till next time, happy crochet everyone!